One of the most popular comments I get is, how did I know water was down there? I did not. You have to just start digging. In this video, I'm going to share the biggest lessons I learned from digging my own well in my backyard, some things I would do differently next time, and at the end, I'll share something I discovered just recently that changed everything I thought I knew about digging a shallow well. Question one, is it illegal to dig a well in your own yard? And the answer to that is, it depends, okay? There are over 3,000 counties in the United States, and all of them have their own county ordinances. Go and read them. You don't need to keep commenting that, it, I can't believe he's doing this, it's totally illegal. Go check your own county's rules and do what they say. Or don't get caught. Next question, can you drink the water? And the answer is, I made a video about this. Go check it out. The answer's in there. Next question. Uh, yeah, I, I was amazed at how many people commented and said, why don't you just stand on the roof above your shed instead of standing on a ladder? Well, ladders are for standing on, okay? And so if you want to do this and you want to stand on your slate roof with 40 feet of PVC pipe, you go knock yourself out. Okay, but I did it my way. It works just fine. Okay, another common question is, does the pump run all the time? How does it know when to turn off? The well pump is outfitted with a, what's called a pressure switch. And this one I'm using is a 3050 switch. That means when the pressure drops to 30 PSI, the pump turns on. And when it reaches 50 PSI, the pump turns off. Nice and simple. Lesson one, location. As some of you noted in the comments of my 40-foot well video, I put my well pretty close to my shed. Now, I haven't had any issues so far, and if I had to do it over again, I would put it maybe 10 to 15 feet away from my shed. Now, in my area, the water-bearing sand layer is so thick, and there's so much water in there that I don't think I'm at risk of causing any compaction issues, which can manifest on the surface as sinkholes or land subsidence or other issues like that. Just for a margin of safety, it still makes sense to put it 10 to 15 feet away if you can, and it makes the digging process a little bit easier when you're not crammed into a corner between a shed and a fence. Lesson two, when you're jetting or drilling a shallow well, you usually don't have to worry about the whole collapsing in on itself or otherwise sealing itself up while you're drilling. That's usually not a risk, but you can improve the drilling process by making sure to direct the cuttings away from the hole. Because what I noticed when I was digging my well is that as the sand and clay just fell from the top of the pipe back onto the ground, they would settle around the base of the pipe, making it harder to move. This isn't exactly the same as the whole collapsing on itself, but the physical process is similar. You, you've got pressure on all sides of the outer wall of the casing, and it makes it hard to drill further. So I would direct as much cuttings, clay, sand, and other junk that comes out of the hole away from the drilling process so that you don't have this issue. Lesson three, I drilled my well using PVC pipe, but what no one tells you is that you can run into issues when connecting PVC directly to a cast iron well pump. It's important to know that the temperature differences between the cast iron and the PVC can cause issues if they're connected improperly. So I actually ended up making a separate video about this because it's important to connect brass or steel up to the pump directly and then transition over to PVC to avoid this problem. Okay, lesson four is a little counterintuitive, but deeper is not always better when it comes to the outer casing. Honestly, I was a bit lazy about this and because my well was working fine, I ended up waiting a year before trying to optimize on this problem. But when the outer casing is down too far and you can't get your inch and a quarter well screen past it, the outer casing, which is solid, essentially constricts the flow of water by covering around the well screen and you can't get as much water in. Another way this manifests as a potential issue is something I noticed when I hooked a clear hose up to my 
well pipe to connect it to my pump is I started seeing little bubbles come from the well pipe. Now the only way air can get into the well pipe is from the surface environment. That means that the little space between the inch and a quarter inner well pipe and the two inch outer pipe is funneling air from the surface all the way down to the bottom of the hole. That implies that the well screen and the outer casing are in direct contact. We don't want that. We want the outer casing to be above the well screen and not blocking it at any point in any way. So I had to do a bunch of extra work to basically pull out the well casing like two to three feet in order to expose more of the well screen directly against the water bearing sand. I was able to raise the outer casing by 29 and a half inches. So that's 29 and a half inches of extra well screen exposed to the water bearing sand. Now, lesson five, what I didn't show in all my other videos is all the times I'm like second guessing myself, not sure if I should even keep doing this project. Okay, here's a secret in life. Nobody has any idea what they're doing. We're all just figuring this out and digging a well is no different. One of the most popular comments I get is, how did I know water was down there? I did not. You have to just start digging and figure it out as you go. It's always a leap of faith. You're always flying blind, but the trick is to keep going and persevere. And eventually, whatever you're doing, you'll succeed at and digging a well is no different. Now, I think this is a good time to share with you that I discovered this thing, and it's a special type of valve that you put on the bottom of your well screen that can make the digging process a lot more easier and efficient. And it's so cool that I made a separate video about this that you should check out. Okay, note to self. If you use a two inch diameter PVC pipe for your uh, drilling bit, a steel well point will not fit, not even close.